happy birthday as well. You always find a way to pour your in solution. Get out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. Today I'll be reviewing the C Crane CC Solar Observer AM FM Weather Band Emergency Radio. You can purchase this radio off of Amazon for $54.99. I also picked up the adapter to charge the internal battery. This is optional and this cost about $15. So a total of $69.98 gets you this radio and the charger. Um, you can get the radio just by itself for a total of $49.95 from REI. I noticed they had a really low price on it. They have free shipping at 50 bucks, so you gotta find something for a nickel. I'm not sure if they have anything really cheap on there, but I noticed they had a four pack of alkaline batteries for five bucks, so you could throw that in there. And it's like getting the radio and batteries for the same price you'd spend on Amazon, which is pretty cool. So I thought I'd tell you about that. All right, so here's how it came in the blister pack. It's kind of big, I'm gonna bump into things. CC Solar Observer, clear audio, cell phone charging via USB jack, built-in LED flashlight, there's the radio, maximum reception and selectivity on the back here, some writing, padded carry handle, built-in three LED flashlight, four-way power, uh, high quality audio and reception for everyday use, AM, FM weather bands, headphone jack, light display, and the name of the company, UPC. Okay, well, let's get to opening this. I had that for holding it up. Let's see how easy this is. I had little buttons here and on the other side to hold it in place. Let's get that radio out. So let's set the radio aside. And inside here we get some stuff. So let's grab that out of there. Okay, looks like we get a warranty card, a manual. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set the blister pack aside. Nicely protected, I like that. Let's see what we get here. So we get a instruction manual. Instruction manual is pretty cool because they go into detail on how much time you can expect from a charge on the battery, how much you can expect from your alkaline batteries, and how much of a time it takes to charge with the solar panel. And I have that written down and we'll go over it. Here's some power consumptions, which is some people would find interesting. Um, some dimensions, which we'll go over, and uh, talking about the batteries, which we'll go over also and then our band scale. Okay, really nice uh, that it goes uh, on AM band 520 to 1710. Cool. So, nice, easy to use manual, I like that. Easy to read. Here we go, we got a warranty registration card. Um, the warranty is really good. I think it's a one year, yeah, one year limited. Um, and if you have any problems, they're really quick to help you out. So, definitely send that in. Um, here is the USB charging for your phone, the little adapter, and it plugs into the radio. I'm going to show you that in a little bit. Um, yeah, we'll set this aside for a moment. Let's look at the radio, the sweet part, right? This is really nice. Okay, I love this radio. <laughs> it's built really well. Um, I'm going to lower this down too since I had it high for that blister pack. Let's bring it on down. There we go. I like the color scheme. I like the bright white lettering. This is just a great way to make emergency radio and I've reviewed quite a few and yes there's a premium attached to this one but it's awesome so let's go over some details let's go over dimensions first um, it's seven and a quarter inches long it's five and three eighths inches high and has a depth of two inches okay looking at the radio here left side we have a three LED flashlight it's really nicely made everything lines up really nice I like that um, here we have a headphone jack, which I tested, and it sounds really good. If you're into bass, you're going to love it on FM. Um, AM sounds very decent, so I'm very happy with the, the headphone. It's a mono, but both ears. Here we have that phone charger, and that's that little, um, this little adapter you plug in here, and you plug in your USB cable there. Now, I'm not sure why they did this, but I'm, I'm guessing, this is a guess, um, is that this design of this radio is fairly uh, long. I mean, they've been making this radio for many, many years, and they probably didn't want to put a USB jack in the device because they weren't sure if this would change over time. This actually is a smart idea uh, implemented if they ever changed the um, socket style. So uh, that's my guess. Um, and then we'll, I'll give you some ideas on what we'll do with this. So uh, battery pack charging jack. So this is where the adapter comes into play. This is the optional $15 battery pack. Um, you can see it's linear too. It's real heavy, so it's got a nice solid feel to it. It's not a switching supply, which is good. 
and that plugs in there and that charges the battery. Uh, using this it takes about, um, I think like eight hours, they say overnight, to charge the battery full, the internal. The internal battery I'll show you in a second. So that goes there. The front of the radio we have on top there, we have a switch for the light. There you go, nice and bright, like that. Then it has a really cool display light. Now look at this. That is so neat. Let me see if I can turn off the light. Yeah, I love that. It is very low power too. Um, it was like five milliwatts. It's really small, small amount of power. So, yeah, awesome. So we'll turn that off. Okay, here we have a uh, power indicator when the radio's on. Here we have a dynamo crank indicator when it's charging. There's our analog scale. We have 520 to 1710. On the AM and an FM, we have 87.5 to 108 megahertz. Here we have a band select switch, weather, AM, FM. Here we have a two and a half inch speaker. Sounds really good. Here we have a selector for the weather band. Kind of cool, you can go to your band instantly with this. Very handy, I like it. Uh, over here we have a tuning. Very smooth, easy to use. Um, you'll have no trouble with that at all. High visibility, I like that high visibility marker. Um, here we have the switch to turn it on the radio. Uh, batteries, if you have them installed, the optional batteries, and we'll show you that in a moment. And then the dynamo, um, that runs off of the internal rechargeable battery. Here we have the volume knob and solar observer. Just love that font. It's so cool. I love this red on black play too. Really nice. Oh, and I forgot to show you. Nice little carrying handle there. Um, on the right side of the radio, we do have the power generator. Um, easy to use. And when you're cranking this one, this is probably the most premium one I've ever felt because I feel resistance and I feel like I'm actually doing something or accomplishing something because the other ones seem loose or not as um, firm. This one here feels like you're, you're actually generating power because it's got some you know, some friction to it. You really got to pump the handle there to get it going and uh, you know you're charging something with that, which is great. Um, with the Dynamo, they say 90 seconds of use equals 15 to 25 minutes of um, battery time, which is really nice. I like that. So let's go to the uh, back side. And what gives its name? Solar Observer. It's got this little solar panel. It's kind of cool. It flips up. So you can angle it to the sunlight however you need to. Um, it probably could be bigger. They're saying um, in the manual that uh, eight hours of direct sunlight will give four to six hours of radio at medium volume. So that's good to know. Here we have an antenna that extends out to 23 and a half inches. It does rotate, but not quite 360 because there's a little lip right here. That's, that's nice. All right, so we got a vented case in our battery compartment. Open that up. Hinge variety. Take three AA batteries, and there's our 800 milliamp hour 3.7 volt battery pack. Okay, so pretty much that goes over the whole radio. So let's go ahead and turn it on and hear what we can hear. 30s, Saturday, so we're going to go over to bands. I'm going to go over weather band, AM band, and FM bands. Um, if you'd like, you can fast forward this video to the end where I do my final thoughts. All right, so we'll go over to the bands. I'm going to extend my antenna. I'm going to move it here. I'm banging into things. Go to one. And seven. So I almost heard something on six there. So that, that's pretty interesting. Okay. So I'm going to go to FM. And we're going to see what we can pick on the FM band. Now, just so you know, with the radio, um, you get about 60 hours of playtime with alkaline batteries installed. Want to add that in there too? Let's go ahead and cruise to the band here. 87.5. And you know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to, because this radio, I'm going to raise this up a little again. So get better view. And we're going to go ahead and tune the FM. All right. I keep thinking there's a tuning knob. <laughs> it's different being all in the front.
behold, the handmaid of the Lord. One W O K L Round Lake Beach in Chicago at ninety four point three and one hundred five point three Milwaukee. Sounds pretty good. As well, all coming up here on Newsday after the latest stories. Good test, 90.5 classical station. This thing's really receiving beautiful. During right-wing paramilitaries to kill six... You are the light. Welcome to Live Talk with Pastor Jeff Whitwire. Two, Mr. Fujimori was released... Donald Trump is a phony, a fraud. His promises are a... Light FM. You've got it tuned to The Rendezvous with Simon Marcel and Andrew. <laughs> Man, this is really good. for 31 years for 50 counts of child sexual abuse. Yeah, Wasted. And the more I drink, the more I think about Face eight out of 41 bezel was a honey cake. If I fell away, then I'm on my mind, girl, since the flood. Oh, oh, you use tearless baby shampoo. It will fall to me. Waukegan Grays Lake. We live here too. Can't keep my hands to myself. You can let your hair hang up. Oh, the sea girl again. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, I'll be honest with you, this. FM reception is like f just amazing on this. This is emergency radio, but wow, C Crane did a really good job on this reception. I feel like it's step tuned in a way, but it's not. It's just it's a different kind of tuning experience. It's nice. when radio was. Okay. This usually is followed by classic radio. I guess they're having trouble. Banging the antenna against my GE Super Radio. 
Nice. She's not in school. It's a long antenna. Wow. I didn't know that classical station or whatever that was at the end there existed. Alright, well I would call this like a little mini FM DX machine. So let's go ahead, we're going to put the antenna down. And we're going to go to the AM band and see what we can find with this little monster. Let's go set this down here. And zoom in. And then we're going to take it's a quick break here. Go over the radio again. Now remember I told you about this adapter? Man, you, you know, you could probably lose this little guy. What I thought of real quick, and since I thought of this before we go to the AM band scan, on top of the radio, this is a perfect spot for it. You can get maybe that Velcro uh, where it's you could wrap it around. You know how that, that Velcro uh, where you got the hooks on one side and the uh, the soft side in the other, and you just wrap it around, and you could probably wrap it all the way around and hold this in place, and then it'll be there on the handle. So then when you need it, you just unravel the Velcro, and then you have the adapter. And then you have the Velcro for use for something else. But uh, that's the best place I could think to attach this without trying to, you know, run a little, you know, type of lanyard and hook it on there and have it dangling. I figured that'd be the safest spot. So just an idea I had. Because yeah, you're going to lose that otherwise. So um, that'd be what I would do anyway. So let's go ahead and we're going to go down here and we're going to. I think we're going to see, I don't think this adds much noise, we're going to go ahead and add the backlight just for fun. Yeah, this will be cool. So we're going to go to the AM band, and we're going to go to the bottom of the scale here. And we're going to see if we can get any long distance stations tonight. Let's get this so it looks kind of cool. Reception is good. So I think that's 6.30, that music station. It's really clear audio. Uh, this could be WSM Nashville. The Bronze, go for gold. No, no, it's local. In Six seventy. Okay, that's probably WSM. This is 670. You know, for all them. They're leaders. Their buddies to protect them and stuff. But the rest of the people are left to fight it on out. And who's going to win that This is probably WLW. Whenever a story changes, I'm Chicago's very own 720 WGN. There we go, Zoomer Radio. Around, but it it just I I the first thing I always think of is how do they not? I think this is WJR <laughs> Detroit. Yeah, because it is you're you're, you're come in. Hello, Mr. Burke. Nice day, isn't it? Is it? Well, it was. 
very unsettled weather and conversation we're having. Classic radio in 780. Local. To be the back stairs with a dog. I or beyond. Uh, but at the same time, you know, the president can't wait to wake up one day and find out North Korea has launched a EMP attack or a, a this missile. Could be W Hawaii with nuclear G Y uh, uh, Albany. Eight ten. That's 860 Toronto trying to come through. But static on the air. It's always possible that this station here is KOA Denver, 850. Yeah, New York City. Pittsburgh stations there probably and possibly uh, Philadelphia there too so she, she got all the words right There's some you know, some people have, have done that song and they've uh, gotten the words wrong and her tune was fine it was just you have to get on top of it and you know what we, it seems like we're addressing a lot of these now a strange UFO recordings reveal air traffic controllers confusion in October at our lunch last week. At our lunch last week. Boy, they love you, Stephen. We're putting on in the skies. Let's check in with air traffic controllers confusion in October at a very strange craft. A lot of iHeart radio stations there. Get that coast to coast.
you've written, we can help you get it published today. Shouldn't you work with a publisher who shares your Christian values of integrity and honesty? You can get your book. That's why. Let's do it for three years. You know, blue moons, Venus, low in the west after sunset, and the planetary show as we wrap it up, George, Jupiter, Mars, and Saturn. That's possibly 1610. Yeah. Well, you can tell me that they're going to get the same thing. Got it, Very good. Social for us, obviously, it's one of the powerhouses, and uh, we have a good coaching staff that's going to have a perfect plan for us. Ladies, well, great skate. Congratulations. Thanks. Thank you. Netherberg, Mo, Brittany Bowen, Mia Manganello. With Alex Perlman and Dan Jansen, the women's team pursuit for the U.S. And my final thoughts for the CC Solar Observer by Seacrane. Well, as you saw, the FM band was amazing. I loved it. I was finding stations probably more than I found on the AM. It just it was really fun going through the FM band. Uh, the AM band was great. We found some distant stations like WCBS. Uh, so this radio can't perform an AM band. Of course, the weather band is flawless. The build quality of this radio is amazing. Um, the knobs are very intuitive. Everything is very straightforward. I love the classic design. Everything about this emergency radio is solid. So I'd recommend this as a buy, even with the premium price tag. Uh, there, it's just it's a great emergency radio to have on hand or to give as a gift. So if you like the video, hit the thumbs up icon. If you want to watch more of my videos, uh, subscribe, and you'll see I put a video a day out, usually in the evenings. Hit the little alert bell there to tell you when you get new ones, and uh, comment below what you think about this radio. Do you own one? Do you want to own one? Uh, is there a feature on here that I missed that uh, we can go over again? I'll definitely comment below, and we can uh, kind of do some conversation on these emergency radios as a whole. Well, I appreciate you watching. Thank you, and goodbye.